Hey YouTube, I wanted to show you my latest technology acquisition here. I got myself a Line 6G 30 wireless device for my guitar. I'm going to uh, show you how this thing works, how great it sounds, and compare it to an old school wireless. And you can see the difference in what uh, an old one does to your tone and how, how little impact this new Line 6 has to your tone. It is, it is great. It'll preserve your guitar tone. Uh, here's my little setup here for this demo. It's, it's uh, pretty simple here. I got uh, my older uh, RP250. I've got a little uh, Boss Parametric EQ uses a boost pedal, and then a Line Six delay pedal. Little little uh, side Line Six here, but uh, this is what I used to use until I bought my RP1000 for gigging out live. So this gave me all the sounds that I needed. This gave me a boost, the uh, the Boss, and I'm pointing to here. And the Line Six was a delay, so I could slap it in and out as I needed it. I did not use the delay on the the uh, RP250. Anyway, so let's get back to the wireless here. So you can see that this is the receiver unit. It's up. Uh, you can put Velcro on it, stick it on your pedal board. Uh, I got a little uh, short cable here to go in, but that was that's what goes in after it receives the signal. So we're going to plug this into the RP250. All right, so I'm ready to go here. <clears throat> so if I had a bigger pedal board or if I wanted to be more creative, I could... Uh, Velcro or whatever, but uh, you know it, it's meant to be uh, placed in the beside your stuff on the pedal board. Or you can stick it anywhere else. You got Velcro. It's not like kind of the old school things where they're they're rack mounted. Rack mount's good if you got a rack to do it, but uh, I just find this more convenient because I've got a really uh, pretty simple and pretty uh, uncomplicated setup here. All right, so here's the other part of this thing. We got the receiver. So this is what goes on your guitar cable. So he's got the little clip here, uh, quarter inch input, which is, that's different. I'll show you here in a second what the difference is between that and a typical wireless unit. Uh, you got a couple of lights here, and then you got a channel selector. So let's get a little closer to it. Uh, you can select between six channels. So if you've got some kind of interference, you can switch channels. So I'm going to cut it on here. So you can see it's got some communication uh, with that. Well, actually, that's the, the battery light. You'll see in a minute when I cut it on. When it actually plays, this light starts flashing when there's audio coming through. So, we'll get to that in just a second. Hold on. Okay, so you can see now that I got the wireless uh, powered on in my little pedal board here. So, I want you to look real closely here. So, you can see there's a uh, uh, transmitter status there. And it shows you if you've got a signal or not. You can see I've set it to channel 1. And uh, one thing that's really unique about this, let's see if we can zoom in on it here. It's got a... Uh, cable emulator. So you can emulate uh, no cable, or if you want to roll off a little of the treble, you can do a, uh, uh, fi let's see, what is it, a 15 foot or a 30 foot cable to kind of roll off the, the treble a little bit. And uh, this thing is really transparent, so uh, it really simulates a cable. You'll, you'll find if you use this thing, if you don't have it in the cable simulation, you probably get more treble through your guitar than through a regular cable because it's really transparent. It's great, and and I'll really compare that in a second to uh, kind of a different set of uh, technology here from a different uh, vendor that kills your tone. The, the, one of the uh, you know less expensive uh, wireless devices from other vendors uh, they kill your tone. So anyway, without further ado, so you see that? Let's uh, let me show you here the uh, wireless device on my guitar. You can see that I got it plugged in here to my strap. You see a little light on. Let's, see, let's strum it here for a minute so you see the light go. You see the uh, audio signal is blinking there. So there's some stuff going through it. Uh, it's not not a lot going on here. We got a cable. It's going into my Stratocaster. I've got it on the bridge pickup, so you can let's go out here a little bit so you can see now. Uh, if you got a Stratocaster, you know what what's going on here. The uh, Strat and the bridge is extremely trebly, so you you'll be able to hear the difference here. So, and again, this is kind of cool that it uses a regular quarter-inch cable. You, you'll find other wireless uh, devices don't do that. They require you to have some kind of special mini XLR cable, and they're kind of a pain in the ass because you can't uh, switch them around. So, anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's put this thing down right here so you can hear what it sounds like. So, you're listening. This is my Strat over the wireless into uh, a uh, clean sound on my RT250. See, 
hear that Stratocaster slap. Let's cut that delay off. It's a little distracting. Now that is just pure Strat. There's no uh, loss of definition. This is the neck pickup, same deal. And that is exactly how it sounds like through a uh, cable. So I'm not losing any kind of tone at all. All right, and uh, just so you can hear the difference here, I'm going to get to a sound that's just a little bit more distorted so you can hear that. So you hear that this is the bridge pickup on the strat, so listen to that. That's good stuff right there. All right, so uh, that's basically it. Let's pick up the, the phone heel for a second so you can you can uh, see it again. It's twisted around. So once again, this is the G30 uh, receiver, and this is the uh, transmitter here, and it's good stuff. Sounds sounds really good. And you can see I got a really simple setup, and I still get that Strat slap that goes through the whole pedal here and uh, just just for the record here I'm playing right in from uh, the output of this is going into a mixer that goes into my sound card so you're actually hearing my guitar without an amp at all I'm playing through a couple of Alesis monitor one uh, studio monitors so there's uh, basically like playing through a PA I'm not playing through any kind of guitar amp so the, the sound is really all this uh, from the RP250 here and, and the sounds I was going between are the slight which is uh, just a Slight tube overdrive. Then I got this one called Tube Break, which is uh, you know, like a, a tube amp on the, the verge of a distortion. If you hit it hard, you get a little bit more distortion. But I really like this wireless unit. And uh, next section of this, I'm going to show you what a, another wireless unit from a different uh, vendor and a different uh, set of technology sounds like and how it kills your tone. All right, YouTube. This is part B of my uh, demo of uh, wireless compared to a Line 6 G30. This is my old wireless that I used to use. It's uh, made by Shure. It's a L4 Diversity. It's real old school technology. This is not what Shure makes today. It's a much older unit. Uh, but it does kind of showcase some of the differences you'll find between other vendors in this new Line 6 G30. Uh, first thing I want to show you is the, the cable here on the uh, what you're going to put on your guitar strap. You can see it's this is not a corner inch cable. It's kind of special. Uh, let's put it out here so you can see. So. The connector here is like a mini XLR. Let's kind of zoom out here. So you need a special cable for this. Now, most of them are going to come with that, but uh, the, the reason I'm calling that out is inevitably you're going to be at a gig somewhere and something's going to go wrong. And how many of you carry around spare mini XLR cables? And 99% uh, 90, of you are going to be like, uh, look, I don't have any extra ones. So there's a disadvantage right there. If you buy a wireless and it's got some, one of these special cables, uh, you should have spare cables all the time, especially if you're out gigging. So uh, this requires you to have to buy something special. You can't use your regular quarter-inch uh, cable like you can with a Line 6 G30. And that's what I'm calling it out here. So this is our, our transmitter here. I'm going to cut it on. It's uh, This is meant to be either microphone or guitar. So uh, I guess that's a strength in uh, some of the other vendors. I don't know how much this thing costs. I honestly got it in a, in a great Craigslist deal, but... Uh, this is kind of the technology. So you can see I cut it on. You get a little light here. Uh, you can see that uh, on the wireless rack mount device here, you got a uh, uh, signal light, and then you got a, a volume control here. I keep it up all the way. I found that that was like the least impact of my tone. Then you got a power that you cut it on and off. You can see the power cuts on and off here. Uh, that's basically it. Then you got this rack mount device here, and then you got uh, antennas on it. Let's kind of zoom out here so you see this antenna that goes up. Uh, and you got an antenna on this side. So uh, that's basically the uh, the uh, other other guy's stuff. It's probably going to be like that. So you have a rack mount. And uh, I think you can get a uh, the G90 or whatever. The Line 6 has a rack mount thing. If you if you have a rack and you really want to get a rack mount, you can pay a little more and get that. It's, it's uh, you know, a little bit more robust. But for the average guy that's... Uh, or gal that's playing uh, on the weekends. I think you'll find the G30 is going to be perfect for your needs. So let's show you what this sounds like and what it does to your tone. I'm going to hook it up to my Strat here in a sec. Okay, so we got our little wireless device 
plugged into our uh, guitar. We got it hooked up to our strap. See, so got some gaff tape on it, and you see, same deal. So we got a quarter inch here. We've got this funny little uh, mini XLR cable here. And like I said, that's a special cable you need to have. Uh, typically, they come with it, but what I'm calling out here is it's not interchangeable with your standard uh, end of a cable like this. It's one fourth inch cable. So what's going to happen is something's going to break, you're going to be at a gig, and you're not going to have uh, one of these special cables, probably. And if you do, you probably had to pay extra to get that thing. So again, we're, we're uh, right here on my bridge pickup. Uh, this pickup right here. And we're going into this uh, old school uh, Sure thing, which, uh, you know, if you bought this thing on Craigslist, it's probably going to be comparable uh, to what you can buy new with this uh, stuff you can get from um, Line 6. So let, let's put this down right here. All right, so I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like. So this, again, this is a bridge pickup on this. Uh, so uh, if you can rewind it and, like, play your video back, maybe. You'll say, hey, where's all the treble? That's pretty dead. And I got the tone knob all the way up to 10. I mean, you still hear the, the strat sound, but it's like somebody's rolled off the tone. And that's not, that's not real good for your tone. It, it really has uh, robbed me of my high end. So let's go to the clean sound so you can kind of hear that. Now you really hear it. When you get a little distortion in, it brings back a little bit of a high end. But So you're pretty dead there. Now I'm going to the neck pickup. Oh my gosh, that's so dull and, and it's lifeless. Really lifeless sounding. Now I'm back to my bridge pickup. Hey, where's all my treble? It disappeared. So just so you, you see the difference here. So this... Uh, other guy technology, unless you really pay big bucks and uh, get one of the, the higher end wireless devices, you're going to lose a lot of tone because these things have, uh, they do like some compression and uh, stuff like that, and it really wrecks up your tone. So, uh, going back to this uh, Line 6 uh, D30 here, let's uh, get our camera back on it here. Uh, this is an outstanding deal for uh, someone out gigging, and it's got that nifty little thing where you can uh, simulate a cable. And I, I'm here to tell you, you're probably not going to get it from the YouTube audio quality. It really works. It does not mess up your tone at all. And even with a simplistic setup like I've got right here, the Line 6 G30 is a fantastic wireless device, relatively inexpensive. I've been using it now a couple of weeks. I've replaced this uh, old school uh, Sure Wireless that used to rob me of my tone. My sound guy would actually uh, come up and complain that uh, my normally decent guitar tone was wrecked by this thing and stopped using it. Uh, but I kept using it because it was convenient for me. But it did kill my tone, and other people noticed. Uh, so it's not just guitar players that are going to notice that your tone is getting robbed by using one of these old school things. So I highly recommend the Line 6 G30. And again, I want to show you here the, uh, oops, drop my phone, uh, the cable here. So any old patch cable is going to work with this thing. You can see that. Right there, right there. There is no special uh, mini XLR cable going on here. What you got is a regular quarter inch cable, so all your cables are interchangeable. So uh, keep on rocking, YouTube, and get yourself a, a Line 6 G30 if you really need a wireless that's uh, inexpensive and doesn't wreck your toe. Thanks.